Hello and welcome to Yoga with Megan. I'm going to do just uh, two movements today that will help to relax the low back, specifically if you've been told that part of your low back issue has to do with um, a tight psoas. So without going into a lot of detail, I do have another video that is a 50 minute uh, video on the psoas, but we're going to do two of my favorite movements just to help myself release, particularly if you sit a lot. So if you sit a lot, that can be psoas, but know that the psoas attaches, it starts in the middle of your spine and attaches to all five of the lumbar vertebrae. So <clears throat> what I'm going to ask you to do first is, because we're going to want to be able to slide legs, and if, if you are on carpet, you can still do it, but if you have a wood floor, even better. So I'm going to fold my mat in half, <clears throat> and I'm going to sit right on the edge of my mat so my feet are on the wood floor. And what you might notice is when you come down onto the, on your backside, hug your knees into your chest, let your low back relax so it'll be longer. Your low back will get longer and flatter as you pull your knees in. And then place your feet on the floor for a moment. And notice how when your feet go to the floor, there's that little arch underneath your back. So one of the ways to know, a little assessment you can do if this, this movement might help you, the somatic movement, is if you go to slide one leg out very slowly, if when you slide that leg out, either your low back lifts and arches, which is very common, or you can't get that thigh all the way down without some pulling in the front, that may have a lot to do with the psoas. And you can do both legs separately. So just take this moment first, relax, find your natural curve in your low back, and try sliding one foot and then the other out. Go really slow so you can be sensitive to the fact, is that lumbar spine arching away from the floor? Or is it hard for you to get the back of the thigh all the way down to the floor? And then bring both legs back. We start this from constructive rest. So if you take a 90 degree angle knee over hip and ankle straight off of the knee and drop your foot down, it'll feel like your foot is right about underneath your knee and your feet are about as wide as your hips. Once again, you'll notice if you walk your heels in too close to your buttocks, the low back will press into the floor, it'll flatten out. We don't want that, we want a natural curve. The other side is if I walk my feet too far forward, I'll start to feel that lumbar spine curving away from the floor, right? It'll get, that curve will get too big and my back is actually tightening. So I'm gonna find that midway space this is the pelvic rock in tilt, and I have lots of videos. This is my first way to release the back. But if you take your hands to the front of the pelvis, think of your pelvis as a bowl. Feel your tailbone and your sacrum at the bottom end of your spine. And as you take a breath into your belly, notice how the abdomen rises. And as you take a breath out, feel the abdomen drop back in towards the spine. So we want to do a belly breath, but it's an active belly breath. Sometimes we use that abdominal breath to relax, but we're gonna use it for movement. So I'm breathing in, feeling my abdomen expand. I'm breathing out, feeling it come back in and contract. So I'm gonna think of the backside now. So as the belly is rising up, I'm gonna allow my pelvis to tilt forward and upward. So my weight will go into my tailbone and my sacrum and I'm increasing the arch in the back. So that lumbar spine is coming up off the floor. And then as I breathe out, I'm gonna release the lumbar down, gently press the low back and low ribs into the floor. My pelvis will tilt towards my shoulders and downward. So I'm gonna move my arms out of the way. And then we find this movement with the breath, inhaling tailbone down, belly expands, so the belly's stretching, the low back is slightly contracted. You don't have to overdo that. Exhale, let the low back and low ribs relax, let the tailbone lift and feel the abdominal wall contract. So we go back and forth, inhale, backside slightly contracted, abdomen expanded. Exhale, low back, low ribs into the floor, tailbone lifts, low back long, contracted abdomen. And I want you to do about five more of these. And even if you're not moving as much, so there may not be the range of motion in the pelvis, what you mostly want to catch on to is feeling the drawing in of the abdominal wall on the exhale and the lengthening of the low back. And the reverse of that on the inhale, the expansion of the abdomen and that slight contraction of the low back. And take a few more of these, finding your way in. Try to keep your legs as relaxed as possible. 
And we're going to do the right side first. Next time I'm going to inhale and tilt into that um, arch in the back. And then as I exhale, I'm going to draw my right leg into my body, not using my hands, just as far as I can go comfortably. So I'm flexing the hip and the knee. And you'll notice as you do that, the low back and low ribs will press even further into the floor. You'll flatten out the low back even more. You can take a few breaths there. Let's do just that. So we inhale, lift low back, low ribs off the floor, foot's on the floor. Exhale, draw that leg in, feel the tailbone lift and the low back lengthen. Doing two more of those. Inhale, we arch the back, tailbone and sacrum into the floor. Exhale, curl the back, draw the thigh into the body. And just finding that motion. And then we'll add on. Last one. So take the foot down, feel the two sides of your body. Already you might feel some sort of difference. So remember that the, that the, what the psoas does is it flexes the hip towards your body. It also takes it out to the side. But what we're going to do is lengthen it by lengthening the leg. But I'm going to inhale into that arch as we were doing. I'm going to exhale into the curl. And now I'm going to inhale and slide this foot out. If you have socks on, even better, I don't. I'm going to slide the foot out. I'm not forcing it, and I'm letting it stay relaxed. But what I am also letting to happen is I'm arching. I'm purposely arching that back, because that's what my body wants me to do. I'm going to arch so you can see. I can stick my hand all the way through. I'm going to arch the back as I extend the leg out. Then I'm going to exhale, press the low back and low ribs into the floor. I'm going to do another round of that arch and curl. Inhale, lift low back, low ribs. Come onto the tailbone and the sacrum. Got to relax the leg. Exhale. Gently press low back, low ribs into the floor. So you're doing that same arch and curl with just the right leg extended. And you can do a few of those. You might feel it in the low back. You might feel it in the front of the thigh or even in your sit bone where the psoas attaches right at the top of the femur. And then slide that back. Take a few moments. Reset your pelvis so it's squared off. We'll do two more on that right side. And each time we're going to add a little bit on. And when we add, if you're not ready to add, just go back to the previous version. So you might even just be doing the exhale, inhale, right? Otherwise, next inhalation, foot into the floor, lift low back, low ribs. As you exhale, draw the thigh into your body. So there's our flexion. I'm going to inhale and extend the leg, stretch out those hip flexors, including the psoas, but I'm going to let the back lift up off the floor, relax the leg, exhale, low back, low ribs into the floor. That's going to lengthen the psoas. And do a couple of those, inhaling up and exhaling back down. And I have my arms out to the sides so you can see, but it might be more comfortable to start to keep your arms at the sides. Inhaling up and exhaling, lengthening the low back. All right, we'll see. So the other th the consideration is a lot of times when we have one side of the psoas that's tight, it's not just the lower body. You might feel it in your hip or your low back. But oftentimes, there's, there's restriction in the upper body, specifically the trapezius muscles, that triangle of muscles that's just above the connection of the psoas in the mid-back. So we're going to add the arm into this movement. I'm going to take my arms down to my sides. Inhale into the arch, weight into this tailbone and the sacrum. Exhale, draw my thigh into my body. Now as I inhale and extend the leg and let my back arch, I'm also going to take the right arm overhead. What I'm noting is that my upper back is also arching. It's not just my low back. I feel an arch underneath my armpit. So when I exhale, I'm going to press low back, low ribs into the floor and my right shoulder blade. Try to flatten out the whole back, especially on that right side. Inhale, arch again, and I'm trying to relax the arm and the leg. Just feel the weight of the bones, let the muscles relax. So really, we're using the arm and leg to extend, to create space, but then they're relaxed, and the movement is from the torso. You can see I'm just rocking from the torso. If there's too much strain with the arm overhead, then just work from the lower half of the body first. I'm gonna slide the arm back down, take the leg back in, Take a moment at center, see if I can feel, which I can, a difference in the two sides of my body, and describe it to yourself. What do you feel? For me, my right leg feels warmer. 
It feels a little bit longer, even though my knees are bent. And it feels like my right butt cheek is, is heavier into the earth right now. So I know that, that something's happening. I'm learning to read the energy in my body. And then we'll do one more on that right side. Inhale, arch the back. Exhale, press low back, low ribs into the floor, lift the tailbone and draw the thigh in. And then we're gonna inhale, extend the leg and the arm. Reach as far as you can comfortably, then relax them, press low back, low ribs into the floor and the right shoulder blade. Sometimes you gotta really, I have to pay attention, let my toes fall out to the edges, let my hand relax. Inhaling, I'm arching, weight is resting on the uh, tailbone and the sacrum and the top of the shoulder. Exhale, pressing the center of the spine, the shoulder blade, and the middle of the back into the floor. So doing that arch and curl with one side of the body long. And I've been sitting in a chair before I did this, so this feels really good just to lengthen out the front side of my body, specifically through the thigh, but even the back and underneath the right armpit. And you can do as many or as few of these as you want. And then come back, relax. I'm gonna to turn towards you so you can see the second side. Oh wow, I should move slower. I'm feeling the effects. So get my mat to where I wanna be. You can take a few breaths wherever you are. If in between you wanna hug your knees into your chest, you can do that. The other thing that I'll sometimes do is after doing that on one side, try extending both legs and see if you can feel a difference between when I go, so if when we did the one leg slide just to do our self-assessment, notice how the one feels that you just did and then slide out the other leg. And does the back lift differently on one side than the other after doing that? Again, that to me is an indication that this movement can be really helpful for you. That when we feel those changes between the two sides where we feel the differences, that that's means something's happening, something's shifting muscularly. So we start from the constructive rest again, feet on the floor. Now I'm working into my left side. Want to find the arch and curl. Inhale, tailbone and sacrum into the floor. Lumbar spine arches. Exhale, press low back, lower ribs into the floor and tailbone lifts. And I would advise you can find your end point, go as far as you like, maybe for a few, and even hold it at that end point so you feel the abdominal wall contracted, the low back long, I can breathe right here. I can also breathe here. But also vary your speed and how far you go. So maybe a few of them, you don't take it to the end point. You do a little bit softer, slower motion. So always varying. And as much as I'm trying, all my awareness is still in my right thigh because I can feel that right thigh more than my left thigh. It's awake now the awakening of the psoas. So now I'm gonna do that left leg, inhaling, arching the back. Exhale, draw the left thigh into my body, feel the tailbone lift a little bit deeper into the stretch in the back and through the buttocks, and then foot back down. Inhale, arch, so we just do that part first. Exhale, flex the hip, draw it in, feel the backside stretch. Inhaling into the arch, and exhale, leg. And as I said, any of these points you can pause. So I could pause, feel the stretch through my low back, feel my abdominal wall slightly, slightly contracted. And then I'll take the foot back down, neutral position. The natural curve in my lumbar spine, notice where the weight's resting across my pelvis. And now we'll add on. So if it works, and the thing is, you might need to do two different things on two different sides, because Oftentimes the imbalance in the psoas is that one side is contracted or weak and short, and the other side is perhaps long, and that can be weak too, but we can find these imbalances in the muscles. So if one side your leg doesn't want to extend, that's okay. I'm gonna go through the full movement on this side as well. This is actually my happy side. So I'm going to inhale, arch my back, tailbone into the floor, exhale. Draw the thigh into the body, feel my tailbone lift. Inhale, slide the leg out, let the back arch, because that's what it wants to do. Let the leg relax. Exhale, press low back, low ribs into the floor. 
Inhale, lifting, low back, low ribs. Feel yourself go away from the floor. Exhale, flatten into the floor. And just do a few of these with just the leg. So if you're feeling too much pulling in the top of the thigh, and your leg does not have to be all the way down to the ground. Mine is, but it might be slightly bent. Each time you may notice it loosens up a little bit more. And then we'll come back, take a few breaths at that more neutral resting posture. Feel the symmetry in the body. Next round, inhale, tailbone sacrum into the floor. Feel the back shorten and arch. Exhale, draw the left thigh into the body. Feel the back lengthen and abdominal wall contract. Inhale, extend the leg out. Just slide it out, let the back arch. Relax the leg. Exhale, low back, low ribs into the floor. Inhale, lift low back, low ribs. Exhale, release low back, low ribs. So just sensing the arch and curl with the leg long, and you might feel it more in the center of your spine, in your lumbar area. You could feel it somewhere in the front of the thigh as well. Last one here. And then sliding the leg back in. So I'm going to go ahead and add the arm to this as well. We would start with the arms at the sides. If the arm doesn't work for you, skip it. Work on just the bottom half first. So sometimes when we have full tightness through one side of the body, which is very common, we have to work from the pelvis and then add the arm later. But we'll do both on the video. Inhaling, rocking into the pelvic tilt. So I feel my low back, low ribs lift. Exhale, draw the left thigh in. Feel that flexion, feel the low back lengthen. As I inhale, I'm gonna extend my leg and my arm. Find that nice long body, use my arm and leg to lift, to arch the back and spine, but also to lengthen and then release the arm and leg. Exhale, press the low back and low ribs and the left shoulder blade into the floor. So the whole back line, inhale, arch, the left side of the body away from the floor. Exhale, curl it into the floor. Do a few of those. And if there's too much pulling, if your arm's up here somewhere, you can put something to support your arm underneath your arm, but we should feel like we can relax the arm. Maybe it's closer to your body. And then I'll slide my arm in, bring the leg back. Take a moment at the center, always in between, just check in. Let the leg muscles relax, feel the floor underneath the back and spine. Next round, breathe in, sacrum tailbone into the floor, back arches. Breathe out, draw the thigh into the body, feel the low back stretch and the abdominal wall contract. Breathe in, extend the leg and the arm if you'd like. Exhale, press that arch out of the back Inhale, bring that arch back into the back. Feel your belly expand, your front body, your ribs. Exhale, press that arch out. And do a few more of those if you'd like. Sometimes it just feels good to feel long. And then I'm gonna end that. Take my arm down, take my leg back. When I come into my final resting pose, so the other thing this OS does in addition to bringing the thigh in, it's a hip flexor, it also is an, it externally rotates our thighs. So I like to take that constructive rest into more of a easeful pose for my psoas and let my knees fall together like this. So the knees stay bent, but just letting the knees fall together. You may find your feet need to be closer together, or further apart, but just um, encouraging that little bit of internal, even though the knees are still bent, that little bit of internal rotation creating space in the back and spine. I won't do a formal rest, but you of course can. Maybe just placing your hands on your belly. Your sacrum runs right underneath there. Your sacrum is there and then your psoas running through and just being aware of that space in your body. Let the legs be heavy. Let the ground hold your back and spine and just see how you feel. Take a few breaths into the center of your body. My 
nice easeful breaths and now we can use that abdominal breathing to relax more. Breathing into the abdomen. I feel the fullness of the breath coming in. I'm breathing out. I feel my whole back and spine release. My abdominal wall is soft now. Breathing into the expansion. I'm making that exhalation a little bit longer and slower, enjoying that peaceful pause at the bottom of the exhale. Please stay in your rest position as long as you like. Thank you for coming to do a little uh, low back so as release with me today. Namaste.